In this video, we're doing some more stoichiometry, and we're going to use stoichiometry in, in the way that we probably most often use it in, in chemistry, and that is with um, masses. So, what we saw earlier is that when you have a balanced chemical equation, it gives you conversion factors in the terms of mole to mole ratios. But usually we don't know how many moles of something we have and how many moles we want of something or we have to use or whatever it is. But what we do most, you know, most often know is how much, how many grams, what the mass is of what we're starting with and what we're ending up with. And so all that you do is you, you still use the mole to mole ratio that you get from the balanced chemical equation. That's at the heart of all this stoichiometry. The only difference is now there's some other conversion factors, and that is the, you know, if we're given grams, we're going to have to use the molar mass of that species to convert from grams to moles so that we can use the mole to mole ratio that we get from the balanced chemical equation. We can get, use that conversion factor. And also, you know, when we use that, that conversion factor from the balanced chemical equation, the mole to mole ratio, what we're going to have after that is the moles of whatever we're trying to find. But most of the time, we want to know how many grams of that thing we're going to have or need or whatever. So we're going to have to convert back from moles to grams, and that means we're going to have to use the molar mass of that second species. So, for example, I'm giving you the balanced chemical equation here. Um, aluminum nitrate reacting with magnesium metal to make magnesium nitrate and aluminum metal. All right? Do you know what kind of uh, reaction this is? It's a, that's right, it's a single replacement reaction. And now, this is a, a realistic problem here. We want to know how many grams of aluminum we can produce by the reaction of 1.74 grams of magnesium with excess aluminum nitrate. Um, don't worry about the excess part here. You'll see uh, in the next video or two why I say that, but it's not really important right now. All right, so here's the thing. <clears throat> we want to find out how much aluminum we can make from this, many, this much magnesium. The only connection we have between magnesium and aluminum in this reaction is the mole to mole ratio from this balanced chemical equation. Three moles of magnesium produce, or is equal to, two moles of aluminum. We really want to use that, but we don't have moles and we don't want to get out moles. We start with grams of magnesium, so what we're going to do is just use the molar mass of magnesium to convert the grams to moles. Then we can use the mole to mole ratio, and once we get moles of aluminum, we'll use the molar mass of aluminum to get the grams of aluminum. So it looks like this. So this is pure dimensional analysis. So the question is how many grams of aluminum? So we put a blank there and the units of our answer and our starting point, what we want to convert, 1.74 grams of magnesium. So we will definitely need the mole to mole ratio between magnesium and aluminum, and that's this right here. Three moles of magnesium is equal to two moles of aluminum. But in order to use that, we're gonna need the molar mass of magnesium. One mole, one mole of magnesium is equal to 24.305 grams of magnesium. And to get our final answer, which we want to be grams of aluminum, we need the molar mass of aluminum. One mole of aluminum is equal to 26.982 grams of aluminum. So when we plug all those guys in, we can make sure everything cancels out. So grams of magnesium, grams of magnesium, moles of magnesium, moles of magnesium, moles of aluminum, moles of aluminum. So we set everything up correctly and we end up with grams of aluminum, which is what we want, and because of the, our starting point, the 1.74 grams of magnesium, that has three sig figs, the 24.305 is five, so it's a 26.982. The two to three, remember the, the coefficients are exact numbers, and the ones are exact, so we're left with three sig figs, and our answer, final answer, is 1.29 grams of aluminum. Now, we can do this, and we do do this, um, with any, relationship in this this equation we could have asked how many mole I mean, excuse me how many grams of aluminum nitrate we need to react with that many grams of magnesium we could have asked how many grams of magnesium nitrate we can make from that many grams of magnesium or anything it's the same idea you just use the mole to mole ratio between the two species that you care about in that balanced equation and then the molar mass to get to the moles and the molar mass of the second thing to go from moles out to grams